Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Stitch Fix unboxing and try on. I got a nice big box today. Can't wait to see what's inside, but I apologize if I'm a little out of it or I'm exhausted or annoyed or whatever emotions are coming through today because it's been a really long week for all of us. Just a bunch of craziness, so I apologize in advance. If you like these videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and let's get on with the video. So what Stitch Fix is, if you haven't heard about them, they are a clothing subscription service. So you pay $20, you get five things sent to you, you don't have to keep anything, you don't have to purchase anything, it's 100% up to you, but that $20 is just your flat fee. If you decide to keep anything, you do get that $20 off, and if you keep everything in your box, you get a 20% discount. My last box was a lot of summer stuff, and I know you guys commented about that, so this box is pretty big. I'm thinking I got some bigger pieces. So when you open up your box, this is what it looks like. You get your return label, so you just, everything you don't like, you just throw it in here. It has a label on it. You drop it off at USPS, and that's it. You don't have to worry about anything else, no printing or anything like that. You also get like a solicitation about the service and then you get a little envelope inside you, the first piece of paper is a it shows you all of the outfit combinations for the pieces that are in the box and you also get a letter from your stylist so crystal i don't think that's the same stylist i had last time but she said hello Jenna. you get an itemized list of everything in your box with the prices the names of everything and how much everything would cost individually and then how much it is together and then with your 25 percent off discount i said 20 percent before oh, this is a heavy one Okay, so this is what the bundle looks like today. So lots of full pieces. And I always do this. Everybody, when I watch other people's videos, they're able to hold the bundle like so perfectly. Mine always falls out. And I blamed it on being thinner before, but now I know it's me. So sorry, I wasn't able to do it right. Okay, so the first thing is just a long sleeve it's kind of like a waffle net, like in between a waffle and a rib. So that's what the texture looks like. It's um, shoulder detailing and it's just fitted throughout. This looks like it kind of scoops a little. And then the back is completely straight. So this is the Lush Sila Rouge Sleeve Knit Top in the gray and size medium. And this one is $38. Oh, I love these kind of confetti things with these little dots. So the next thing is a cardigan. It's a burgundy with those little confetti specks through it. Very stretchy. There's a little ribbing on the wrist. Pockets. I always love pockets. And then the back does have a seam. So this one is the Love Ellie Wells Confetti Cardigan in the deep, the dark purple and size medium. And that one is $48. The next thing is the Rag Poets. I'm guessing the jumpsuit that she talked about. So it's just olive green, buttons to the waist, some ties on the side, and then also it looks like it is a drawstring waist so you can pull it in. There's pockets on the back, and then also the front. And then this is a wide leg. So the Rag Poets 
Leia cropped jumpsuit. I do not like cropped anything. So this is probably gonna be a no. But this one is $88. So, uh, I don't know. I don't think that's gonna happen, but we'll try it on. I think $88 for a jumpsuit is, especially like that material, unless it's like super special and probably not gonna do it. Okay, so ooh, I'm seeing some leopard. And these are a wide leg pant. These look a little small. I don't know, you tell me. I guess it stretches a little bit, but Look how tiny that waist is. So these are by the brand Boom Boom Jeans, Marjorie Printed Wide Leg Pant, and Taupe in the Medium. So I really like these, but I think that maybe because they're high, no, they're not even that high. So you could tell they're not like super high rise or anything that they would be that small on the waist. But for being like a more comfortable pant, I think this would annoy me, so. I don't know about that one. Let's see how much it is. Okay, so that one is also $38. And then the last item looks like jeans. So these are the Just USA Lola Skinny Five Button fly jean. So this looks like a high rise. They always send me, I guess because I put eight on something, but I said that I'm a 28 and they always send me 29s and they never fit me right. Like those white can can shorts I kept last time. I've been wearing them here and there and they're definitely too big. So I mean, we'll see with these. But these are $58. I do like this color denim, but I don't really need it that much. So the Lola skinny jean, um, they're just too big in the top portion, a little underneath my butt and then at the ankle. So I could fit like three inches in the waist. It's my fault, I think I need to update my sizing and tell them I need 28s in jeans. But these are really nice, they're really stretchy. I just feel like if I tried to wear them, they would be uncomfortable through the day, like the can-can shorts that I kept that were 29s. So I'm most likely gonna send these back. They're just, you could say like, there's just too much fabric in the wrong areas. So, like I said, I, I think I would keep them if they were 28, but they just don't fit me right. And I don't think they're that great that I want to exchange. Here's the Lush ruched sleeve tee. And it's very uncomfortable. It's very itchy. It doesn't really fit me nicely. I don't know. Maybe I gained weight this week with all the stress eating. But I just, I don't know. I don't think this is something like the armpit kind of goes too low. And then the material feels very very it's not soft it's it's scratchy and it's kind of cut awkward so just like a little boxy and definitely not flattering my body type here is the confetti cardigan and i really really like this um it's really stretchy i love that fabric on this the little dots it's something that I know I would definitely go for. I really like this color with my skin tone. So I think I wanna keep this one. It's just an easy piece. You just throw on a t tank, leggings, and then throw on this cardigan and I'm good to go. So I definitely haven't been really cardigan shopping. So I think this is a keeper, but let me know if you guys know something similar that's better or less expensive. Here are the wide leg pants, and I feel like they're kind of awkward on me. I also have a pair of leopard pants like this, like comfortable. They're like shiny and spandex, which are even better than this and more comfortable than these. 
So I don't know how many pairs of leopard wide leg pants I need. Just, you know, these are cute with a black tee or tank or cardigan and, you know, just for like casual outfits in my opinion. But I, I just, I don't think I'm gonna throw these on. They're just not comfortable. And I don't feel like they look that good, but let me know what you guys think. Here's the olive jumpsuit. So I really like the neckline on this. It's just easy. The button is a little too, um, it's a little small in the bust area, but I think I can make it work. The waist, you do have that drawstring so you could pull it in, which I like. Um, it's okay. I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like it's a little too safari right now for being in full, but I, I, it's, it's okay. I think it's a little too crazy for me. Um, it's not really that flattering on my body type. Right now I'm leaning towards the cardigan, but I want to hear what you guys think. So comment down below if you think I should keep anything else. I did get a package for Lily. So I'll post that video tomorrow. If you want to see Stitch Fix Kids or if you're interested in it, um, make sure you hit that subscribe button or turn your bell notification on. So you'll see that video. Like I said, I'm posting it tomorrow probably. But if you like these videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.